Welcome to the enchanting world of Veridonia, where the elemental festival unfolds in the heart of the village of Eldergrove. This vibrant celebration is dedicated to the elemental forces that shape this mystical land. Picture colorful banners fluttering in the gentle breeze, each adorned with intricate symbols representing earth, air, fire, and water. The air is thick with the sweet aroma of roasted chestnuts, mingling with the melodic sounds of laughter and music. It's an atmosphere that feels almost magical, drawing everyone into its embrace. Join us as we delve into this captivating chapter, where the elements come alive and stories unfold in the most unexpected ways. Amidst the bustling festival, Calum stands with bright blue eyes sparkling with wonder. He watches as children dart between stalls, their faces painted with the vibrant colors of the elements. The festival is alive with stories, each villager sharing their unique connection to the elemental forces. An elderly woman, her hands weathered yet gentle, recounts how the winds guided her family through storms. Nearby, a young boy demonstrates his ability to summon small flames with a flick of his wrist. Each interaction deepens Calum's understanding of the elemental powers, revealing the responsibilities that come with wielding such forces. It's a moment of discovery and belonging as Calum finds himself woven into the tapestry of this magical celebration. Lyra, with her flowing hair the color of the ocean, joins Calum, her laughter ringing like a bell. Together, they dive into the heart of the festival, participating in various elemental challenges. From racing against the wind to crafting intricate water sculptures, each activity strengthens the bond between them. As they share stories of their families and dreams, Calum feels their rivalry transform into a friendship rooted in mutual respect. It's a beautiful moment of connection, where the elements not only shape the world around them, but also the relationships they cherish. The festival becomes a backdrop for their growing camaraderie, a testament to the power of unity and understanding. Suddenly, the joyous atmosphere is disrupted by a dark cloud looming on the horizon. The unmistakable roar of engines shatters the festive sounds as the shadow racers, clad in their ominous racing gear, storm into the village. Chaos erupts as they tear through the festival, scattering villagers and toppling stalls. Calum's heart races, not from excitement but from a growing sense of urgency. The very elements he has come to respect are being disrespected, and he feels a fire ignite within him. It's a pivotal moment where the harmony between nature and technology is challenged, and Calum's resolve solidifies. He understands that this is not just a disruption of a festival. It's a call to action, a test of his newfound identity and responsibilities. As the shadow racers wreak havoc, the villagers gather in a powerful display of elemental unity to reclaim their celebration. It's a moment that ignites Calum's determination to embrace his identity and the responsibilities that come with it. The festival, once a mere celebration, has transformed into a call to action, foreshadowing the conflicts that lay ahead. Join us next time as we continue to explore the unfolding story in Veridonia. Don't forget to subscribe to the Storyteller channel for more captivating tales.